Hey guys, so I have something really exciting to show you today. It's a wonder bag. What in the world is a wonder bag? <laughs> hmm, any guesses? This is a cooking bag. So here's how it works. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. I've never used it before. So we're gonna see how it works. But it has a little drawstring and it opens up, oh my gosh, it's huge, like this. And it has this little topper on it. So the idea is you put a hot pot of food inside this bag, seal it up and it cooks for like eight hours. So it's a slow cooker with no fuel. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. It's a little big for the van, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know, you could use it as a pillow. You could use it as a little uh, couch pillow here. Maybe a bed pillow. I don't know, it's a little thick. But let's see how it works. I'm so excited to use it. I hate to burst your bubble, but they're really kind of hard to find. Uh, they are made in Africa and they sell in Africa and the UK. They don't sell in the US yet. Uh, so I found one used off eBay. Uh, there are some other versions on Etsy. They aren't quite as sleek as this one, but uh, Maybe they'll start selling them here. I don't know. And I'm sure if you're handy, you could make one of these. So it has these big insulation pockets all the way around. So what we're gonna make is we're gonna try to make a vegetable stew. I'm gonna put in a little bit of lentils, some potatoes, some broccoli, um, and see how well the lentils cook, see how well the broccoli turns out, the potatoes, if if everything gets soft. So this is the pot that we're gonna be using. They say use the smallest pot that you need. So this might be a little big, but it's the one I've got. All right, I'm just gonna throw everything in. So I've got some uh, pre-made, well, you know, I thought it was pre-made, but actually it's just a bunch of potatoes and some seasoning. <laughs> so, all right, that'll work. So if you're wondering, how is the bag going to cook the food? I don't get it. Well, you have to start cooking the food first. So you have to get the, get the food all the way heated through. Then you put the hot pot in the bag. <laughs> so it doesn't cook it for you, but it just really, really retains the heat. It says it'll retain it up to 135 degrees for, I think, I think eight hours. So. All right, I'm gonna dump the potatoes in. I'm going to dump their seasoning in. We're gonna put some veg vegetable broth. I wonder, maybe I should cut these some of these potatoes. They said they're bite-sized potatoes, but I don't know, that's a pretty big bite. I might cut a couple of these, just so they're a little more even. Ooh, I love my new knife. It's super sharp. Okay, those are a little bit more uh, uniform. So I'm thinking how you might use this is, uh, well, a couple ways. One, if you're just hanging out for the day, you could totally have it in there cooking all day. Uh, you could cook it in the morning, go out for a hike, come back, have hot stew. Uh, you could use it on a drive day. If you know you're driving all day long, you could have this cooking in the van all day. I'm gonna put in a little lentils. Oh, I should probably wash these, let's see. I 
If you're trying to save money, boy, dried beans are so cheap. So I washed out my lentils. I'll cut my carrots in half. I forgot an onion. So onion powder instead. Some celery. And some broccoli. Uh, some diced tomatoes. And a little bit of garlic. So I probably should uh, be sauteing this instead of just tossing it in the pot, but A, I forgot, <laughs> and B, last time I sauteed onions and garlic in the van, uh, the van smelled like a restaurant for like weeks, <laughs> so I'm not sure I'll do that again. Smelled good, but still. So the instructions say that uh, the fuller the pot, the better. So you don't want a lot of air in your pot, essentially. So I might put a little bit more water in here. Just to make sure that those beans have enough to soak up. All of that. It's going to be pretty full, though. So, I'm gonna have to be careful not to spill it in the bag. Okay, and if you haven't seen, my handy dandy spice holder holds five different spices and it looks like a flower. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, we'll put some salt. And some pepper. And some Italian seasoning. And some ginger. Why not? Okay, give it a little stir. Let me get my stove out here. So yes, you do have to cook it. Okay, when that gets all heated through, then into the bag she goes. I'm so excited to see what happens. So on the Wonder Bag website, it talks about how revolutionary this bag could be. Parts of the world where in order to cook a big meal for your family, women have to uh, tend a fire all day long and have to tend a pot on the fire, breathing in smoke and fumes all day long. Uh, getting fuel for the fire all day long. Um, oh, we're boiling. Turn it down, simmer a couple minutes. So in those parts of the world, this could totally change their lives. They don't have to babysit a fire all day long or a pot. They can do things with their day and they don't have to breathe in smoke all day long. One of the things I've really come to appreciate about the van is 
how it's taught me to look at so many different things of life differently. You know, if you live in a regular house, you don't ever think about, you know, how much fuel you're using. Well, I didn't anyway. Uh, how much fuel I'm using to cook a meal or how much electricity I'm using in a day. And, oh, we're boiling, guys. Woohoo! Okay, I think it's all warmed through. Okay, boiling all the way through. I think it's ready to go in the bag. Okay, so I have my bag all opened up here and I'm gonna put it in where I think I'm gonna leave it for the day. I'm a little on a hill. So, um, well, we'll see how level it is when I get it on here. Okay, that's all right. So it says to uh, rest it on some sort of protective material so that it doesn't burn the bottom of the bag. So we'll put it on a little pot holder. Are you gonna spill? I don't know. I don't... No, you're okay. But I can't bump it because it's full. Okay, so its top goes on. And we seal it up for the night. Nighty night. Well, not nighty night. I'm gonna have it for dinner. But tuck it in for the day. Okay, here's our little bundle of joy. Hope it doesn't spill. <laughs> it's not really flat on the bottom, it's a little rocky. So if, I don't know, if you are driving for the day and uh, have this cooking, you might have to either leave some room so it's not gonna spill or really kind of uh, wedge it in well. So, okay, I'll see you in, uh, I don't know, maybe six, seven hours or so. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll open it up I've got some sourdough bread to have with it. See if it's cooked. Okay guys, it's time to open the Wonder Bag. I'm so excited. Let's see what we find. I wonder how much water got absorbed by the lentils. Ooh, it's still hot. Oh, it's still really warm. Wow. Wow, look at that. Like, I can hardly touch the, the um, pot. Dang. It's been uh, six hours, I think. Wow. Oh my gosh, still steaming. Look at that. It's pretty much kept all of its original heat. That's amazing. Let's see, did the lentils get done? Oh, please, please. Oh, they're done. How about the potatoes? Oh yeah, they're soft. Mm. Oh man, it's cooked perfectly. How cool. Let's, see, let's try carrot. Oh, it's great. It's not overdone at all. Like everything is still um, has texture, but it's all nice and soft. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, it tastes really good too. Let's try a broccoli. <laughs> mm-hmm it's like it's super tender but not falling apart oh man 
could not believe this is so hot after six hours. Wow, how cool. And it didn't spill anywhere in the bag. It's amazing how hot it is. Oh, I think I better still put that on a pot holder. Can you see how it's steaming? <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. That's amazing. I also have some some sourdough bread. It's going to go great with this. With a little bit of butter. It's plant-based butter. <laughs> Oh man, cozy stew in the van. Mm, makes me think of my grandma. This is what you need. When you're out, you're feeling maybe a little lonely. It's cold out. This is like home cooking. Okay, I'm gonna have to think twice about the Wonder Bag. At first when I got it, I was like, Okay, there's no way this is gonna fit in the van. It's gonna take up a ton of room. No. But now, <laughs> I don't know, this is pretty good. <laughs> I might have to like see if I can make it work as my pillow or something. <laughs> Cause this is so cool. I cooked for 10 minutes today. All I did was bring it to a boil stuck it in the bag and forgot about it. And now warm meal at night. So spoiler alert, um, I'm not that good of a cook, but you don't really have to be. Like you can't burn it, can't really overcook it. Uh, all you have to do is boil it. <laughs> and you know, depending on the day, I can do that. <laughs> so this might be a real winner for me. Because I tell you guys, like, everything's cooked perfectly. Yeah, this is just a good for your soul uh, stew. Okay, so here's the problem. I still have a gigantic pot of soup. <laughs> I have uh, a whole bunch of these little containers that I got. And they stack up pretty well. This is 10 containers. So I'm gonna try filling some of these up. Let's see how many meals we could get out of this. Okay, so I've got six meals. Let this cool a little bit because obviously if you put it in the cooler, you're gonna have some problems. Maybe you have a freezer, but if you have any way to store this, then you know, just like in a regular house, you have some meals taken care of and you don't have to cook for a couple nights. This is probably going to fill up your cooler or fridge or whatever, whatever you have. But I don't know, maybe you could cook less and just put more water in it to, uh, you know, fill up the pot more or have a smaller pot. This is the only pot I have. Um, so if I had a smaller one, if I had a pot that I could heat up this, or maybe I could heat it up in there and then put this in the bag. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll try that next. <laughs> so maybe cook it in there, 
maybe just half or a quarter of the pot. Stick it in this pot and put it in the wonder bag, maybe. They say don't use uh, ceramic, don't use um, cast iron. The best is uh, like an aluminum pan or a glass pot is what they say. So there you have it. Now you know what a wonder bag is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you think you'd use it? Do you think it would be useful to you? Or is there no way that you would have room for this? You would bring it, it would, it's not gonna work for you. I don't know, what do you think? All right guys, hit the green button to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye. Mm. God, that hurt.